using open source software. So what do we need for that? We definitely need a text editor. In our case, we will use VS Code. We need ES Mini, which is a open source open scenario player, which comes with a few handy open drive tools. The GitHub link you can see below. And we need Python. And that's pretty much it. So what will we create today? We will definitely create a single straight road, which is very, very simple. So as you can see in the image here, 100 meters long, uh, straight reference line, two lanes, and a sidewalk on each side. We will create a single road with a bend, and we will create several roads connected to each other to form in sort of S shape. So what do we need to know to do that? And I've created a few videos with the relevant information. I will link them below in the description. One is uh, about the reference line. Then you will need to know how to define lanes and you need to know how to define roads. And with this, we can jump directly into it. Okay, so let's start by creating our first um, Open Drive XML. So we can take any example from the open drive specification that you will find in the samples folder um, where we start out with a open drive um, element we define a header um, we can start with the first road definition in this example we'll just have a single road um, now we start with the plan view and as we want to define a straight line with a length of 100 meters our geometry element will be of the same length as the entire road so uh, that is really simple. For simplicity purposes, we won't apply any elevation or lateral profile, but we will define a few lanes. So we will have a single lane section for the entire road. Then on the in the left um, section, we have a driving lane with the ID 1, a shoulder lane with the ID 2, and a sidewalk with the ID 3. Um, our driving lane here, we will define as 3.5 meters. Then our shoulder lane is 30 centimeters and the sidewalk has a width of 2 meters. Our center lane has a broken road mark. Um, so we can define on the center lane a road mark, which then spreads equally to the left and right side, as the center lane has a width of 0. And we have the same um, driving shoulder and sidewalk configuration on the right side. If I want to visualize my open drive file, I can do that by calling esmini slash bin slash ODR plot and hand over the road one x ODR file. What this will do is it will create a track.csv file, which is a parsed version of our open drive file. And then I can use a Python script, which is called ODR plot slash xodr.py to visualize that CSV file. And if I run this, I can show that to you. So you can see this is our road. So we have our three lanes on each side of the center. So this is our sidewalk, this is our uh, driving lane and in the middle here you can see the shoulder lane. And uh, what I could do, I could for example um, manipulate my open drive file. So if I would say the lane with the ID1 has a width of six meters, I can save that. I can run that command again and now you can see that this lane is way bigger. So what you can see also here in that uh, oh, um, Python plot is the X, Y coordinates wherever the mouse is hovering. And this will definitely help me when it comes to connecting um, different roads or line primitives together. So what I can do to get a bit more accuracy, zoom in on a certain point where I'm going to connect the next um, road element and I can hover over here and then you will get pretty accurately the um, x y coordinates for your next road obviously when you use professional tools you will always get higher accuracy in terms um, of the coordinates but as a quick and simple uh, approach to get there this is one simple way to go so Viewing our road in a Python plot is nice, but sometimes I want to be a bit more visual. 
And here, um, ES Mini provides it with an ODR viewer. And I'm telling this to open a window with a dimension of 1280 by 720. The ODR alpha I wanted to visualize is road one. So that's the one we have here. And I'm telling it to also display me some road features. And I can run this command and then I'm getting a window. And here I can now see this is my road. And we still have the width of the lane with the ID1 at six meters. This was three and a half meters. And here you can now see the shoulder lane and the sidewalk now a bit better visualized. And you can have a look at it. You can zoom in. So this is a bit nicer. Next, let's have a look at how to connect several roads to each other. So here I've prepared a open drive file with a few roads. Um, it's in the end, it's five roads in total. So we have ID1 through ID5. I've gave them different names as my uh, straight elements are called road. So I've enumerated the road elements and I have two curves. And what we can see here is that, for example, the road with the ID2 has a predecessor and a successor um, stating the relevant IDs and the individual contact points. What you can also see is that obviously a curved road has a different uh, geometry element than a straight road. So our curved roads here have a arc as a, a geometry element uh, versus our straight roads have the line element. Also, each road here has a length of 10 meters, which makes the um, entire road um, 50 meters long. So let's visualize this in our Python plot. So now here you can see um, this is our, our road and we have a straight element, we have a arc, we have another straight element with an arc and another straight element and they are all connected to each other. So once we've viewed everything in our uh, Python plot, we can also view this in our um, nicer simulation. So this is our road and it looks quite good. If you paid attention into one of the linked videos, you will know that uh, connecting an arc directly to a straight line um, can cause trouble in your simulation as this will cause a jump in curvature. To fix this, I've prepared a last example where I'm adding a straight line, a spiral, an arc and another spiral to smoothly get in and out of a curve. This is the XML representation of the geometry elements stating and forming our smoother turn. So we have a straight line leading us into the turn with a length of 10 meters. Then we have one meter of spiral pretty much starting our curvature. We can see that we have a starting curvature of 0 0.0 and an end curvature of minus 0 0.127. Then we jump into an arc um, where we have to adjust the heading a bit. Um, then we use the same curvature as the spiral ends up with. And to get out of that turn, we have a spiral again, um, getting us out of the curvature into a straight line and then followed by a straight um, line again with a length of another 10 meters. So each of those geometry elements add up to 30 meters. And if I want to visualize this on the Python plot, I can do so. And this is how it looks. And you can see this is a really smooth turn. Now let's have a look at how this looks like in our OpenDrive viewer. And for this, we are going to run the same command as before to get this view. And here it is. What you can also see here that we now have a roadmark visualization here uh, we didn't have before. So let's have a look on how that works. We can jump down here to our center lane and here I have a roadmark definition. I haven't created a video about roadmarks yet, so let me quickly show you how that looks here. So within the lane, we have a element that is called roadmark. We define, okay, it starts at S equals zero. It has a width of 20 centimeters. It's of type solid. For experiment purposes, let's change that to broken. 
then we can say this is of color white and a lane change is allowed on both sides. So if I save this now and run our visualization again, now you can see that our OpenDrive viewer is visualizing our broken line. There are parameters you can read up in the specification on how to adapt um, the road marks. So you can make the space between uh, the broken elements smaller. You can the broke make the uh, elements itself smaller with certain parameters. But as a quick glance, this should uh, show you how that works. And this is our video for today. So thank you very much for watching and see you the next time.